Hey there everyone, Laurel Beard here with you today. I am so happy to be celebrating with Alta New. It's their fourth anniversary blog hop and I'm gonna make these three cards in the video today. I'm gonna to be using some of these metallic ink sprays from Alta New and this is just some white mixed media card stock so it works with pretty much anything. And I'm basically just spraying these colors onto this cardstock <laughs> and it might not look pretty at first but that's okay the exact colors i used are lavender fields dusk antique silver jet black and white uh, there are 12 colors in total i believe in the spray line so i've gone ahead and sprayed all of that <laughs> And it's okay if you don't think it looks pretty. I'm gonna take another piece of that same paper and press it together. And then I'm left with two prints um, that you could leave as is. I think that would make a really pretty like water scene or something like that. But I'm gonna go in and add some more of the same color here. Uh, added a more purple, white. Now I'm gonna go in and add some black. And then I'm gonna leave it alone and let it dry. But I have all of this stuff left over on my craft mat I don't want to waste. So I'm gonna take another piece of that paper and just begin to press and swirl and I'm really going to get a very soft muted result uh, surprisingly enough once I'm done with all of this. I had a piece of hair on there, I had to get it off. <laughs> so I'm just going in and blending. I didn't want to waste all that and I could have continued to do it with several more pieces of paper. Uh, but here's a look at the two first ones I did all dried. You can see all the metallic shining through and then that very muted color we're going to work on in a little bit later. But all that's from one sitting. So I basically got three backgrounds from one sitting, which is super fun. Uh, so now I want to show you how I created that kind of bokeh, bokeh, however you say it, look in the background. I'm using the Pattern Play Circle Stamp Set from Alta New, and I've got some white pigment ink, and I picked up some of the individual circles, the solid circles, and the outline circles that they have included in the stamp set. At the end of the video, I'm gonna show you a card that I made uh, using the big background stamp. But for now, I'm just going in and I sped this portion up and I'm just adding these dots and that's some white pigment ink up there. Sometimes I do um, stamping twice before I ink it up, sometimes I don't. I'm just really, you know, playing around here and <laughs> this is pretty much it. So you just keep going and adding different dots. Um, there's different shapes big ones, medium ones, teeny tiny ones. There's some outline ones I'm gonna go in and add. I'm really just having a good old time. And once this dries, it's really a cool effect that you're left with here. So just continue to add the dots wherever you want them to be. You certainly don't have to add this many if you don't want to, it's totally up to you. Um, you can also go in and add different color dots, rainbow dots um, on a piece of white card stock. There's really a lot you can do with just the dots, just the circle images in the stamp set not even the uh, big background stamp, which I haven't even used yet. <laughs> so once I'm happy with the placement of all my dots, I'm going to finish off the card. Now I didn't do it in the video, uh, but what I did do is create these two cards. You can see I just added a sentiment and a word die here, all from Alta New. All the supplies are linked below. And then I tied in a little bit of that embossing powder. You see that embossing powder in the background? That is actually Alta New's rose gold. And when I went to sprinkle on some embossing powder, it actually stuck to some of those circles because that was pigment ink that I used. I wiped some of it away, but I left some of it and heat embossed it because I really think leaving that scattered embossing powder in the background tied into the embossed sentiment and die cut word as well. So that was a happy little mistake I made. And my second card, I kept it very simple. And I actually, if you look at that background, that's the washi tape, the polka dotted washi tape background, just for a little subtle polka dots. <laughs> Some more dots, can't get enough of the dots. And then I just adhered a sentiment strip that I white heat embossed here. Again, everything I used is linked below for you. So moving on to the uh, muted color that we created with the leftover uh, sprays I had on my mat here. It's so soft and pretty. I just simply adore it. And I kept it very simple. This is the Wings of Hope stamp set. And I grabbed one of the larger images uh, from that stamp set and I'm just going to simply ink it up with any pigment ink because I'm going to sprinkle on some embossing powder and your pigment inks will stay wet longer so you are able to heat emboss with them. So I inked it up with a gray pigment ink I had. I'm going to sprinkle on that same embossing powder that I used in the other cards which is Alta News Rose Gold Embossing Powder. Heat set that and then I'm going to be left with this very very pretty card. Very simple to uh, mass produce if you wanted to. You saw how much leftover metallic spray I had on my mat. I probably could have gotten four or five more card bases uh, just from that leftover spray I had on my mat. And all I did with this card was adhere it to a card base and round the corners. So pretty, so pretty. So the, the background has metallic in it because of the spray and then I've got some 
shine from the heat embossing there. As I mentioned, there's also a large background image in the stamp set. So here's a card I created uh, when I first got it. I just stamped it, heat embossed it, and colored in all the various circles and adhered a word die. So you can also create very quick and easy cards using the background stamp uh, just as is. And it you can fill in the uh, circles with some of the solid images. You can watercolor in some of the circles. So you can really get quite a few different looks from this one stamp set. So thanks so much for joining me. Happy fourth anniversary to all to new. And I have linked here to a foiling series I just completed last week. It was a collaboration series between myself and Justine Hovey. I went ahead and linked to the entire playlist here in case it's something that you want to check out. And I thank you guys so much for watching and joining me today, and I'll see you next time.